Rise Son of Rome has got to be the most amazing, free-flowing, violent combat with some very impressive graphics for a game released as an Xbox launch back in November 2013. Yeah, a decade. We step into the shoes of Marius Titus, a Roman soldier seeking revenge for the murder of his family. Our job in this video is all of the offline achievements. This does not include the arena achievements as multiplayer achievements can get in the bin. Our achievements include finishing the whole game on Legendary, getting all of the collectibles and battering barbarians in a number of different ways to grab those sweet, sweet miscellaneous achievements. In total, it's 47 to gather. The game opens up like Star Wars. We must first start at the end to learn Marius' story from the beginning, watching Emperor Nero petrified for a reason that will become apparent at the end of the story. We begin learning the combat and dive straight into the slick executions and the battering of barbarians. First impressions of this game. This game looks incredible. I mean, already got an achievement, first blood. <laughs> I'm assuming we're gonna get a lot more of those. Perform your first combat execution. I mean, <laughs> we're gonna get hundreds of these. The combat in this game as well is sensational. Absolutely sensational. Off you go, pal. Slice and dice. Oh, we get another achievement there. Time to fly. Cut his arm off. From your first environmental execute. I'm gonna pick up the scroll to the left, which should give us an achievement as well for the first scroll. And there it is. Letters, of the, letters from the front. I don't know what I was about to say there. That is the loss, maybe? <laughs> Off you go. Bye bye. So, this game allows you to set different flanks for your army, and then they have a Scorpio in here. Just so fun using the Scorpio in this game. But get another achievement combing my way through. Defeat 10 enemies in a row without sustaining damage. Beautiful. Lovely. Back to the game and pick up the Vista that's on the left. Saw it in the cutscene as well. That sh should get us an achievement as well. Yeah, it does. Roman tourist, that's for your first vista. And we get another one as well to protect and serve. Meet Nero. <laughs> it's not even the end of the mission. It's just to meet him. Escort Nero, but not without going here first and collecting our first chronicle of the game, which we'll pick up another achievement for. And there it pops. Something I found on the way to the fora. Collect one chronicle. Give Caesar what is his achievement. Purchase an upgrade in combat. Oh, nice. Oh, get off me. Come on in, sir. Roll up. Bash. Slice. Slice. Combine the attack so he stutters. Combine. And execute. It's so satisfying, the executions. It's just... Oh, it's beautiful. There's an achievement unlocked. I have a story to tell. We complete the beginning on any difficulty. Lovely. Barbarians attacking the home. Your mum and your sister running away. Come on, double execute, double execute. Slice. 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 Three slices. You want some more slices with that? Find your family. Uh-oh. Yeah, wait for the rampage now. The barbarians have just murdered them. Ash. Cut his arm off. The arm off is ridiculous on this. You can actually look closely as well. You can see the little white circle for the bone. <laughs> Uh-oh. We got Big Boy with the shield now. Big Boy's got his arm off and he gets stabbed in the neck and pushed out of the way. Double execute coming up. Stab! I'm throwing him. I threw him. Oh, this is so violent. I love it. Just throw, threw both guys away. Okay. Shows us the focus mode. Oh, he tripped him. That's beautiful. Bar to kick. In the chest. And sliced his arm off. Jeez Louise. Oh, we've got another achievement there. Monstrum combo. Defeat 25 enemies without taking damage. Oh, what a stomping on his head. They're hunting us. Yeah, I know they're hunting us. They just killed your wife and your daughter, mate. The quick throw. Die, you 
block. Slice, slice, execute. Oh, by arm. There goes the arm. See the bone? You see the bone, people? You can see the bone. <laughs> Kill your father's attackers. I'm coming. Kill. Dramatic. It's always got to be that. Achievement pops. I will avenge you, father. That's completely second level on. Any difficulty. Good level. Washed up on the beach. All right, we'll take the dead centurion sword. Apologize to him. Slice and kill. Slice and repeat. Off of the arm, in the neck, back away. Double kill. Look at this combination. We're getting up there. We are getting up there with the combination. Block 77 into 80. 83. Legendary hit. Back of the neck. Retake the beach. This is turning into Saving Private Ryan now. Oh, <laughs> really is. <laughs> Let's see if I can deflect an arrow. There's one. There's two. Everyone's been hit but one guy. Oh, yes! There he is, he's down. There it is, there's the achievement popping. There's no such thing as luck. Beautiful. All right, kill the archers. Oh, back on the Scorpio. Look at this, just... I think this is cheating, look how quick. Oh, got an achievement, head executioner. Form 100 executions, that was very quick. Very quick to get 100 executions. Saving Private Marius. I did say it was like saving Private Ryan. Complete trial by fire and any difficulty. First half of this mission, we're going to be alone. Okay, no problem. Reach the bottom of the ravine. Try and find Boudica. And her dad, King Oswald. No problem. Oh, we get a vista. Oh, blimey, look at this. All the Romans hanging from trees. Proper barbaric. Uh. Crush. That was great. Huh. Set that on fire and watch them go boom. Okay, I'll watch one of them. Wait, none of them went boom. What's the point in that? Ta oh, what a useless thing. Oh, eh. oh, that's... It's just brutal. Incoming boss fight. Here comes Boudica. Oh, she's got a two swords like Twin Blade from Fable. Who's that girl? Achievement. Meet Boudica. Let's go, Boudica. Oh, easy. Lead the formation into the hill. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Can I throw already? Yes, I can. Loose! And shield up. We don't want to lose Jimmy again. And after we get the Chronicle. Now we break down the door. Oh, achievement unlocked. Avid reader. 1.26%. Complete a comic book by collecting six Chronicles in one level. There's King Oswald. Achievement unlocked. Trouble in Sherwood Forest. Beat the king on any difficulty. Or level. Once we captured King Oswald and his daughter Boudicca, one of the Emperor's sons, Basilis, arrives seeking information about his captured brother Commodus. Threatening to kill Boudicca, King Oswald tells Basilis that the Commodus had been taken to the edge of the world, a remote area where very few return and barbarians reign. When we arrive, we see the barren forest with giant men all wearing minotaur headpieces. We battle a few before being kicked in the ribs by their leader Glot. Separated from all our allies, we march through the level, rescuing all other captured Romans and to rescue Commodus. Execute by the fire. Kick him in. That should be the medium rare achievement once he finishes burning. Yes, it is. Medium rare. Beautiful. Get those cages open, boys. Get them open. While I bash this guy up. Final guy down. Slip. Kill the Minotaur Chief Glot. 
So Glot's pretty easy as far as tactics almost go. You just roll out the way, slice him up, and then rinse and repeat. Oh, and we get our little combination going. We get our combination. Bash! Right in the spine. I'll just break your spine. <laughs> but this guy's Glot. Oh, but it's a brutal kill as the achievement pops as well. The bigger they are. Ah. Defeat Glot. Achievement unlocked. Heart of Darkness. The complete edge of the world on any difficulty. So you get one for defeating Glot, which is the end of the level, and then one for completing the level. After we rescue Commodus from Glot, we regroup with King Oswald and Boudicca to watch Commodus present the peace treaty with the Barbarians. Within a moment, Commodus shows it was all a lie as he brutally murders the Barbarian King in front of Boudicca and creates carnage with all the civilians watching. We resume trying to hold back the waves of Barbarians upon the castle ramparts. Welcome to a Peter Jackson film. This is Helm's Deep. Oh my god, look at this. Look at it. No, it's not. It's not Helm's Deep. This is uh, Gondor. Target the siege engines, please, guys. Ah, oh, just kick the ladders off. Oosh. Barbarian soldiers at the wall. Oh. Yeah. Destroy siege engine. Oh. Sir, that's not very nice. As we come off the ramparts, we make our way through the city to reach the canal. From there, we must reach the courthouse to regroup with our commander. Oh, that was sick. That was so sick. Deflected an arrow into the guy and then allowed me to execute him. Oh, okay, that's my best execution kill by a mile. That's so good. Double down as well. We get 4.93%. Perform 50 double executions in any game mode. I'm so happy we got it for that because that was a badass one. With Marius realizing that the knife that killed King Oswald was the same seal that was on the sword that killed his dad, Marius seeks revenge. Commodus has fled on the first ship back to Rome, with Marius looking for a heroic stand. All right, we're going in on our own. Hold off the barbarian horde. We can do this. I can take all of them, because I am the John Wick of Centurions. Oh, just smashing the elites out of the way. Slice and dice. Look at this, that's so easy. Achievement unlocked, inner demons. Find out what really happened to your parents. Did find out what really happened to your parents. Achievement unlocked, siege me if you can. Complete packs Romana on any difficulty. With Marius returning home, he decides to become the essence, both in physical appearance and actions, of Damocles, a revered leader of the vast Roman army. However, during a massive battle, his cowardly commanders abandoned him and Damocles was slain. Nemesis, the deity of revenge, was enraged at how he had been treated despite his bravery. She permitted him to come back as a vengeful warrior, a ghostly black-armoured centurion who would hunt down and kill each of the commanders who had wronged him. Marius becomes Damocles. This unlocks the achievement from the dead, become the righteous hand of vengeance. The whole aim of this is to slay Emperor Nero and his two sons for all the treachery caused. The first son, Basilis, could grant us access to the arena by slaying his champions in order to fight Commodus, the second son. We then butcher Basilis as soon as he grants us access to the Colosseum as a gladiator. Survive the Dover Beach landing. Can I get down there, please? There we go. Easy peasy. Average guys. All gonna die. Oh, look, that, that, that's the drown. And then stab him. All right. Our gladiators have survived. Defend the forest clearing. I've got a load of spears I'm about to throw at some enemies here. You're mine, boy. You're mine. Right through the chest. Oh, he's put a bounty on me. Okay. So my own guys have turned against me. They're like, sorry, Democles. It's a thousand dollars. Well, well, you guys had a choice. And now you made the wrong one. 
completing the challenges presented to us, we earn the right to fight Commodus. Defeat Commodus in combat. Well, if it's anything like Gladiator when you fight the Emperor, the Emperor's son, someone of royalty, um, they're going to cheat. Okay, that was cake. There you go, there's the cheat, there's the cheat. <laughs> Throw sand in your eyes. Okay, one down. Oh, look, everyone just watching me brutalize him. And your toast as well. Back to just Commodus. Five for five. Let's go, boy. Yeah, he does. There you go. Commodus dead. Never give up, never surrender. Achievement unlocked. Defeat Commodus. And Ave Caesar. Complete the Wrath of Nemesis on any difficulty. Yes. After killing both of the Emperor's sons, there was only one thing left to do. Kill Nero himself. We then meet back up with our commander, Vitalian. Vitalian and Marius set to rescue Rome from the barbarian destruction with the death of Boudicca, who seeks revenge for the treacherous murder of her father, King Oswald. Storming through Rome, killing every barbarian we come across, eventually leads us to Boudicca. Defeat Boudicca. Here we go. Come on, then. We're going to beat up Boudicca now. All right. Third uh, down. Go on, kick her off the edge. Oof. Okay, phase two. Ooh. And for the kill. Son of Achievement Rome. unlocked. Not my type after all. Defeat Boudicca. With the story complete and Nero realising Marius is there to kill him and not save him, it brings us back to the beginning. Nero has one last chance of running away and we move through an incredible John Wick-esque killing spree chasing the Emperor down. Achievement unlocked. Settling old debts. Complete the son of Rome on any difficulty. Oh, we're running off. Oh. We get Veni Vidi Vici as well. Complete the game on any difficulty. And a third achievement for Et to Brut. Save the Emperor and then kill him. Now we finish the story, we quickly pick up the Step Right This Way achievement for killing an enemy with a trap. We are also missing a few miscellaneous achievements, which we'll pick up in the next run which will be on Legendary Difficulty. Now if you can time your blocks and evade well in this game, it looks and feels no different to playing with the crew. I died twice throughout the whole Legendary playthrough, so the gameplay will be minimal. Achievement unlocked straight away, been there done that, replay any single player level, that's one of the miscellaneous. Achievement popped. I have a story to tell. Legendary. Only 3.12% of people. I wonder if that's a bugs one for some people or if it's, people just don't want to bother with Legendary, but that was a piece of cake. Are you all right? Kill him. Aha! Aha! Forever lost. You just reload it. Find your mother and sister. There it is, you see? Oh, achievement unlocked. There it is, marketer. Get all or get in combat with all execution. So we've unlocked everything and then we just jump back into combat. Nice. And jump over here to help your dad. That should be chapter two done on legendary. That was pretty easy, not gonna lie. And there's our achievement. I will avenge you father on legendary difficulty. We then pick up chapter three and four's legendary achievements for saving Private Marius and trouble in Sherwood Forest. So much of this game is exactly the same as it would play on Recruit. You just, as long as you don't get hit, but you just know how to block and counter. It's, it's not felt any different to Recruit, to be honest. 
However, then when you do get hit, your health is incredibly low. After defeating Glot again, we gather the edge of the world and Pax Romada chapter legendary achievements. Got it. There's the Vista. Last Vista of the game. Oh, we did get an achievement. Photo album. It did pop. Collect all the Vistas. So we get all the Vistas. But just to show that we actually have all the collectibles. All the Vistas has popped, but all the Scrolls and all the Chronicles achievement hasn't popped. And you can see we have all of them. 51 out of 51, 27 out of 27. Very weird, they are bugged. Defeating Commodus again was the last thing to do in Chapter 7, before running through the John Wick montage again to kill Nero and wrap up all the offline achievements in the game. Except those two stupid bug trophies for the collectibles that most people online have struggled achieving too. Yes, achievements. Settling old debts. Complete the Son of Rome on Legendary Difficulty. Had to reload that to pop. Another achievement. Bad to the bone. My Empire of Dirt. Beat the game on Soldier Difficulty. Well guys, that's the Rise Son of Rome achievement hunt all done and dusted. As always, we'd like to say a massive thank you to our patrons for supporting the channel. If you would also like to support the channel, head down to the link in the description to the Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching guys and make sure to click the video on screen now to view more. We'll see you in the next one guys. Cheers.